What's smoking all my dragons, divine righteous, almighty greats over achieving, never slacking. We got Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun, American flags. I'm not wasting no time. We're going to get right into it and I'll leave my opinion at the end. So here we go. My people of this country. Actually, let me plug my headphones in real quick so I can make sure I get that full experience. Let's do it. My people of this country and we're under attack. They banning us, they cancel us for speaking the facts. If you man enough, come stand with us, take USA back. And every time we pull up, all you're gonna see is American flags. Only time I'ma pause, I'ma just say that hook is gonna have that hook gonna have him going crazy. I'ma run it back. That hook. Talk about a crazy anthem, headbanging anthem, that is going to have a lot of people going crazy. Um, Listen, what? Listen, I ain't going to lie. That, that, as far as the hypeness, the hypeness was crazy. Like, you know, they really represented, um, you know, American flags on that. I mean, Adam Calhoun, he came in spitting, you know, treacherously, you know, with that, you know, <laughs> just... That, that masculine energy, you know, they, they really pushing that, which is needed in today's time. Um, you know, when I look and I look at America, um, we all, man, we're such a melting pot of different people that, you know, have come here 
and really have, have built on this land. And one thing that Adam said about the division, there's been so much division, there's still so much division today that keeps us separated. Um, and damn, there was something else Tom said too, where he said, you know, I, you know, I, don't hit a, I wouldn't hit a woman or something, but I can't, basically you can't tell nowadays if somebody's a woman or not. And, um, then Adam said, also said, you know, because there's certain things I'm picking up. Adam said, what do you say? He said, I'm, I'm about, I'm about freedom. You about evil, you know, and that's where we at with a lot in society today, a lot of evil. But when I look at the land of America, you know, which was once, you know, Turtle Island, um, I personally believe, and just from doing my study in that, there's just clearly so much that was already going on here that we've been lied to about. Like, you know how they tell us the Columbus story. I'm going to use that as an example. I'm going to get a little deep right now. How they tell us the Columbus story. I don't even necessarily believe in that. Um, I believe that, there, I don't, I believe there was already so much people that was here already. Uh, even if you trace back, I just studied something about them finding, what is it, like 7,000 year old European bones in Florida. Um, you had the Nijis, which was here, which is the so-called black Americans that was already here on these lands. Um, I believe a lot of us, not just so-called black or not just so-called white, not just so-called Asian. I believe a lot of us was already here. Um, and there was already things going on here that, that they lied to us about, you know? And, you know, and I believe we've been, we've been brainwashed so much. Like I just learned about Bacon's Rebellion um, where so-called black, um, slaves and so-called white indentured servants got together, excuse me, and they, and they tore it up. They, they united and they rebelled together and pretty much the powers that be was like, we can't let this happen again. So when I look at, even when you look at the Vikings, um, there was Vikings that was already on, you know, this American soil before Columbus. Um, I just believe so much history is just distorted, messed with, and played with. And that's in order to keep us at each other's throats. So it's like, for example, somebody who's, you know, so-called black American who was maybe raised in an environment that where it's just a complete, you know, like, like an urban environment, a city environment where they're not used, they don't know what's going on in the country. They just know what's going on in that city. They're going to be brainwashed by the media and that school system, more they're more likely to be brainwashed by that, to just think that, you know, people are just racist and this and that. And then vice versa out in the country, you may have, you know, certain people who may think a certain way due to how they were raised, but in all reality, powers in the unity. You know, powers in the unity. Uh powers in the unity. Seriously, you know, I even been studying about, even though a lot of you, a lot of people watch this may laugh, but something called redhead giants that were, that, that were in America. Like, I'm not kidding. Even though y'all might laugh, but if y'all really like deep dive into some research, because I, I found, I, I truly believe that the stuff that sounds craziest to us tends to be the truth. Um, I think that if I had to predict, I think moving forward towards 2030, so much is going to be revealed to us that we're going to be looking at each other not so differently anymore. We're going to start realizing just how much we were, we had these blindfolds on and we're going to, I think we're going to start looking at things from more of a galactical perspective, galactical bloodlines and not so, so much like a human mundane black and white, even even tribal perspective anymore. That's my prediction, my personal prediction. I think a lot is going to be revealed. I even think as far as with the whole extraterrestrials and things going on, that a lot of things are to desensitize us, to get us ready for what's going to be revealed. And I believe when things are going to get revealed, it's going to cause a lot of chaos within religion, within, you know, so much different, aspects of society because we're going to start to realize that <laughs> we've been lied to about so much and that this isn't the world that we think it is. So, you know, it's like even as far as where we come from, 
like a lot of those stories may not even be true, right? Like it's really people out here who really still think just so-called black people just all come from Africa. Like people really think that. Um, people think that all, you know, people, people, people have, it's like we're trained to think one way and whole time it don't even be the truth. So, you know, if we can all just kind of come together and, um, and just represent and just stay strong and, you know, make sure that masculine as well as that feminine energy isn't destroyed by the evilness that's trying to eliminate that or trying to play with the energy to the point where we don't know what's what. If we could just stay strong no matter who you are, I believe we'll make it through anything. You know? I believe we'll make it through anything, but we just got to stay strong because that masculine warrior energy that they're bringing to the table is the energy that's pretty much trying to be um, destroyed. You know, it's an attack on so much different people. Um... And we all have to realize that and not be ignorant and think that it's just us or a certain type of people that's under attack. Uh, because they don't want none of this warrior energy and then us bending together at that, you know, shaking each other's hands, bending together and being side by side, protecting the lands. Uh, they, they don't want that. They don't want that. And then, you know, they don't want women to be women anymore, you know, and be in a kitchen with their, with their grandma, you know, learning the old recipes and, you know, they don't, they don't want that, you know, they want women to have, feel like they got a, a bunch of options as well as men, because if you feel like you always got a bunch of options, it, it messes with the family structure it messes with the loyalty it messes with our heads. So, you know, uh, man, that got me talking. That got me talking because America is, is deep. It's deep with America. Like, I remember I took a road trip from the East Coast to the West Coast to the South and back. And there's just so many roads, so many places that's just cut off to the public. It's like, we wouldn't know if there was ancient cities that was here already. We wouldn't know. Like, we really just think the stories that were told. And I think, and I'm speaking on that because I think that's what truly keeps us divided. Is we really believe in all these stories and half the time they don't even be true. Half the time, this one or that one could have already been on these lands, or this could have happened, and this could have. We just, we're, it's like it's like we're just fed poison, and we take a little bit of that poison, and we bump heads together, while the powers that be stay uh, stay on top. So, hopefully, you guys keeping up with what I'm saying. But with that being said, I was talking down on the Adam Calhoun American flags, and um, man, that was that was a very 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 hype, hype song, and the the mastering, the engineering on that was crazy, that was crazy, the, the, the planes flying, and I mean, everything was crazy about that, but with that being said, original link in the description, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what you guys say in the comments, and uh, definitely going binge watch my Tom McDonald playlist, and I'll see you guys soon, much love.